Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. On 28th October 2023, Imphal, the third Project 15B stealth guided missile destroyer was delivered to the Indian Navy. Imphal's keel was laid on 19th May 2017 and ship was launched into water on 20th April 2019. The ship had sailed out for her maiden sea trials on 28th April 2023 and ever since it has undergone a comprehensive schedule of trials in harbour and at the sea leading up to its delivery within a record time frame of only 6 months. The time taken to build Imphal for her trials is the shortest for any indigenous destroyer. Imphal, which is third of the four Project's 15B class of indigenous stealth destroyers, is being built at Musgaon Dock Limited. Indian Navy has already inducted INS Vishakapatnam and INS Murmugaon. The last warship of this class is Surat, which has been launched on 19th July 2018 and is scheduled to be commissioned in the year 2024. Designed by Indian Navy's Warship Design Bureau and built by MDL Mumbai. This warship is a hallmark of indigenous shipbuilding and is amongst the most technologically sophisticated warships in the world. Being a guided missile destroyer with a displacement of nearly 7,400 tons and overall length of 164 meters, Imphal is a potent and versatile platform equipped with state-of-art weapons and sensors including surface-to-air missiles, anti-ship missiles and torpedoes. Powered by combined gas and gas, that is COGAG propulsion set, comprising of four gas turbines, Imphal is capable of achieving speed in axis of 30 knots, that is 56 km per hour. The ship boasts of a high indigenous content of approximately 75% that includes medium range surface to air missiles from BEL, Brahmos surface to surface missile from Brahmos Aerospace, indigenous torpedo launch tubes from LNT, anti submarine indigenous rocket launchers from LNT, and 76 mm super rapid gun mount from BHEL Haridwar. With this note, let's try to understand the capability of these destroyers in more detail. The 15B destroyers spans 163 meters in length, 17.4 meters at beam, and has displacement of nearly 7,300 tons. These ships will be propelled by four gas turbines to achieve speed in excess of 30 knots and has a range of 4,000 nautical miles. The destroyer is equipped with Israel's ELM 2248 MFSR S-band. AAC multifunctional radars, TAILS LW08 D band air search radar, BEL Hamsa NG BO sonar. The warship is equipped with Shakti electronic warfare suite. Shakti will provide capability of the interception, detection, and classification, identification, jamming of conventional as well as modern radars. The Shakti electronic warfare system will provide an electronic layer of defense against modern radars and anti-ship missiles to ensure electronic dominance and survivability in the maritime field. The vessels of this class are equipped with Automillera 76mm naval gun. For point defense, the vessels are equipped with 4 AK-630M close-in weapon system and two systems on either side of the superstructure. For anti-air warfare, the destroyers are equipped with 32 Barak-8 extended range surface to air missiles also known as LRSAM, in 4 8-cell vertical launch system. For anti-surface warfare, the destroyers are equipped with 16 BrahMos anti-ship missiles also used for land attacks and they are enclosed in 2 8-cell VLS at the bow. For anti-submarine warfare, each destroyer is equipped with two twin torpedo launchers. It may be used for launching even Varunastra heavyweight torpedo developed by the DRDO. The destroyers are also equipped with two RBU-6000 anti-submarine rocket launchers, primarily for firing anti-submarine rockets. In the future, Nirbhay cruise missile and the VLSR-SAM surface-to-air missiles have been speculated to be integrated with the destroyers. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this. I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. 
will soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.